Hi, Brick Barian's back, and we are going to take a fresh look at the Ghostbusters Firehouse. This is a magnificent set, has a lot of great minifigures tied to a franchise, all good indicators. Let's get right into it. Now, as you know, the Ghostbusters franchise um, is not nearly as big as, say, Disney or Star Wars or Harry Potter, um, so and so, or even Spider Man. Um, it does have a fan base, but the indicators aren't that great as far as um, desirability because they did they did do another Ghostbusters movie last year, and it didn't really do that well at the box office. So that does have a small concern moving forward. The set that we're going to compare it to is the Fire Brigade, released in 2009. It's a great set. I love it. Um, it retailed for 150, 320 current value, 324 parts value. So it's interesting that you can actually almost part this out for the same price as buying it in a sealed set. What this means for investors is that um, the Fire Brigade is currently reselling at plus 1% of its parts value. Um, again, that is not the, the kiss of death, so please don't panic about that. Some sets are like that. Now, let's get back to the Ghostbusters Firehouse and kind of move forward. And I do want to caution you before we move forward that um, I'm going to kind of give you what I feel is, what I, what I know is a very conservative estimate based on the numbers, and I'll, I'll explain as we go forward. So first things first, the minifigures. Now, one thing the Ghostbusters Firehouse does have that the Fire Brigade does not have are minifigures that are tied to a specific theme. These minifigures collectively, all 10 of them, are reselling for right around $67 uh, as a total. Now, to compare that to the Fire Brigade, those four minifigs, their total price is only 6 bucks. So clearly, the minifigs will definitely help drive the set, as most themed minifigures do. Now, the parts value on this set is $693. This is a, a good spread because we want to see a doubling, and we have that. We'll almost have that. $700 would have been doubling. Close enough. It's a good slash great spread. We will take it. So two years out of retirement, what does that kind of leave us with? A price of $700, um, which I think is very accurate. I, I do see it uh, doubling that quickly once it's retired, mainly because the build itself is great. It goes great with cities, displayability, the interior is phenomenal. And there's enough fan base out there, I think, that will drive it to that price. That's the numbers. Now, eight years out, let's take a look. What we have eight years out is 936. Now, the parts will be going up in value over the course of the eight years. And what I did was I sort of did a compilation of not only the Fire Brigade's um, increase in parts from when it was released till now. I took several other sets also to kind of put in there. And when I ran those numbers all together, the, the, the part out value I get eight years after retirement is 926. Use our plus 1% on that. So we get 936. This, I feel, is a very conservative estimate. It could certainly go higher because the minifigs can potentially drive this uh, much higher. But for now, I'm sticking here at 936. It's a very low conservative estimate for this set. So bottom line is, yes, it's worth the buy. Um, even if our worst case scenario comes out, which is what I'm projecting here um, at 936, that's still almost tripling your money in eight years. So you really can't go wrong with that either. There are better sets out there. It just means that Ghostbusters Firehouse is not going to skyrocket as fast as, say, the Disney Castle. But that's okay because we, we understand that because the Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters fan base is not as large as Disney's to drive it. So anyways, guys, those are the numbers. And as always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will uh, talk to you later. Bye.